Hey everybody, Red Diamond and Shulo, you're back again with another video. Today we're reacting to another Illumavi video. Rich woman shames poor handyman. What happens is shocking. Let's get into it, guys. Can you hurry up? I, I'm not paying you to sit around and do nothing. These things take time, Mrs. Birkenbag. Oh, just Birkenbag. fix my sink ASAP. You know, people like you that are poor are lazy and slow. And rich people like me, well, we like speed and efficiency. Just because people work a nine to five job and they don't have all the money in the world don't mean that they're lazy. I mean, they not everybody wanna be rich. Secondly, people's struggles are different. So you can't sit over here and be like, oh, because you're poor, you're lazy. <laughs> See, so chop chop. Hey, David. Oh, hey, Bibi. How's school going? Good, almost done with the semester. Are you flirting with my daughter? No, <laughs> right he's not. In front of me? Mom, we're just chatting. <laughs> with the help? He needs to be working. Don't waste your breath on him. Mom, that's Bibi, so- It's okay, Bibi. It's all right. I apologize, Miss Birkenbag. It will not happen again. Good. Over dramatic. All done, Mrs. Birkenbag. Hmm. Wait. Hmm. And I need my sliding door. Are fixed, you serious? And that means I need you here tomorrow. Stop sit on the floor. That is not okay. Well, thanks. Oh, man. just go ahead and scram. Hey, Mom. Hey, honey. Come come sit. I'll get us some wine. I'm too young. <laughs> so boring. Yeah, she's too young. <laughs> I need to talk to you about something. Of course. Is this about that creepy Danny guy that was flirting with you? If he so much as touches any part of yeah. your body, I will smash his knees in. Okay, first of all, he was not flirting with me. And David isn't the problem here. It's you. Excuse me? Why are you so cruel to him? What did he ever do to you? He's the hired help. And besides, he's not as hardworking and busy as you and I are. Oh my gosh, her mom is so freaking full of herself. Busy? Oh, Self-care is a form of very, very hard work. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay, so listen, regardless, I don't want you spending any time with him. I don't want his aura rubbing off on you. He needs to know his place, and you need to know yours. Just because David's our handyman doesn't mean he's worth any less than you or me. Okay, you just keep living in your world, and I am going to live in reality. The fact of the matter is, is that people like David and people like me, we simply don't mingle. Oh, you're the worst! You're Hi. late. Oh, I'm, I'm uh, sorry. Just stop talking and go fix my door. <sighs> He's such a nice guy, too. Well, tell me, did you fix the door? Uh, well, the, the hinges are pretty loose, uh -huh. so you have to tighten those. And um, the, mm -hmm. the, the rail has some wear and tear, so I'm going to have to go and get some new parts to fix it. But Seriously? <laughs> you didn't bring the parts? Well, I didn't know exactly what we needed. Obviously, he has to look at it to see what he needs to do to it. How could you come unprepared? Those parts are coming out of your paycheck. But I didn't know. What oh, we... no, what's about he, it? Next time, was... come prepared. Do you want me to tell my country club friends what a bad handyman you are? You know, you might want to be careful. Because I can make it so you never find work. Oh, can you? Again. Okay. So, 
trying to mess up this boy's life. Why do I put up with this crap? I mean, I need this job, and I don't want to ruin my reputation with a bunch of wealthy clients. But working with Esmeralda, it's degrading and horrible. The things I do for money. Hey. Oh, hey, Bibi. Uh, where's your mom? Uh, probably getting a pedicure. She didn't specify, but she made it seem like it was life or death. Yeah, sounds like your mom. Sorry she treats you like crap. She kind of does that with everyone. Not that that justifies that. Kind of expected with this type of job. You know, she even punished me by uh, making me pay for the parts to fix your door. What? She made you pay for that? No, 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 you shouldn't have to do that. Well, I kind of have to if I want her to recommend me to her friends. So she's threatening you? To try to keep you in line? Yeah. No, 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 that's just wrong. When she gets back, I'm gonna have- She, she using her manipulation process because every time she don't like something, she's always, oh, you don't want me to tell my country uh, club friends or or I'll make sure you never work again in this house. Have a word with her. We're done. Well, how's my door? Ah, it's finished. Working better than ever. Huh. Well done. Oh, hi, Mom, we need to talk. Well, I hope it's about something important this time. Did you threaten to badmouth David to your country club friends? Uh, only if he does a bad job. And you told him that to his face? And made him buy the parts? You're just using him! David, did you put her up to this? No! How could you use my daughter against me? You know what? <laughs> You're a loser. Mom, how could you call him that? Because he is, and he needs to mind his own business and shut up and listen. David, you're dismissed today. I'm fired? Are you deaf? No, you're dismissed for the day. It's a day. But I still want you to come back tomorrow and do some work. Okay. So just go. <laughs> but I still want to come back tomorrow. <sighs> and as for you, BB, you need to stop sympathizing with the help. Okay, I work really- well, unlike you, your daughter has a heart. Is that such a bad thing? Be hard, really hard. So he needs to work really hard. Do you understand me? So just go do your homework or something. Uh, I need a drink. Are you- Get up. One way or another, I'm going to make sure David gets the respect he deserves. Oh, David is getting on my nerves. But he's a really good handyman. Hmm. Still want to punish him. I think I have an idea. open. Oh, don't be shy. Come on in. So, uh, what do you Why need she to fix today? Actually, I need a new coat of paint in the living room. But before you do that, I want you to check the sink. Sure. It's not working. Hmm. Strange. Can you check the sliding door too? She clearly set him up. She did this. What? This is broken too. Hmm. Strange how you fixed both things. These were both working last I checked. Well, clearly they're not working now. They're both broken and probably can't be repaired. Look, I can fix these, okay? Oh, heck no. The only way you can fix this is to cough up some money so that you can pay some competent staff to fix your errors. I can't afford that. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's right. He's doing that job because he needs money. I forgot. Not it. You chose a 
poor, paying, sad career, and you don't have money. Too bad. But if you don't pay me, I am going to tell my friends at the country club. Why are you being so cruel about this? What? It's only fair. Who do you think they're gonna believe? A sad and poor handyman or a rich woman with lots of time and money on her hands? I think I know the answer. And cut! That should be enough evidence of your abuse. What are you, what are you doing here? I, I thought you were in school. I called myself out sick Yay. so I could stand up for David. I'm sorry, stand up for David? Got the man that <laughs> broke our appliances? I thought I raised you to be smarter than that. You did raise me to be smarter than that. That's why I got evidence of you breaking the sink and door. Dang. I saw what you were up to and realized you were probably going to mess with David the next day. So I had to take action. So there you have it, Mom. Caught red-handed. How could you betray your own mother? Betray? You doing what? Seriously? Her? After the way you've been treating David? <laughs> he does so much for this house, yet you still treat him like crap. Ugh. Okay. Okay, let's let's go talk about it. And you too, David. Here. Personally, I just I just have so little control over my day-to-day -day life. I I go to the country club, I I make myself look nice, and I spend all day waiting for your father to come home. If he even does come home. I don't see your point. My point is, in an effort to try to get more control over my life, I simply take it out on you or or David or Anyone that I'm in charge of. With all due respect, acting like that doesn't really give you power in a situation. If anything, it just makes people see you as mean and cruel. Instead, there's more power to be had being kind rather than mean and cruel. You are probably right, David. She definitely Listen, loves I'm, no apology. I'm so sorry for treating you terribly. I said awful things about you and to you, and I'm sorry I made you pay for those things. I will pay you back. Well, while the way you acted was not appropriate, I do forgive you, just as long as you promise not to treat anybody else like that in the future. I, I promise. With that in mind, I'll still fix whatever you need for the right price. Oh, of course. In fact, I have several friends that need work on their homes. Um, I could give them your contact info? Okay. That's all she had to be like this in the beginning. She ain't had to do up be all that extra. It took her daughter for her to uh, uh, turn against her, for her to see how she really needs to be. Hey, I'm gonna go get a pen and paper. I'll be right back. Thanks for sticking up for me, BB. Yeah, of course. I've I've just been watching my mom from the sidelines all my life, treating people badly. It's nice to be able to finally step up and stand up to her and see her change too. Well, thank you. And honestly, people like you are gonna make the world a better place for everybody. Here you go. <laughs> um, so I have to warn you, I'm one of the nicer people on that list. I, but you'll be fine. It, it'll be great. <laughs> Nicer? Good luck. You're gonna need this. And I have more. Wow. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. I'll be back with more videos and I'm out.